Folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show, coming to you from the C-Suite Thought Summit. Yeah. And I'm here with Jerome Wade with the Epic Advantage. Yeah. Jerome, thanks for coming on the yeah, Wild West thanks, Crypto man. Show. You awesome. bet. So tell folks what it is you do. You bet. Well, I, I provided executive solutions. So okay. a, a number of years ago, I'm, I'm kind of a serial CEO, a serial entrepreneur. I've launched two nonprofit organizations, two for-profit companies. And when I was leading two of them simultaneously, I found myself, or the organizations, at the top of their game, but I was at the end of my rope. Mm -hmm. And I found myself with what I now identify as, and have coined the phrase globally, I call it executive fatigue. Okay. It's that yeah. drive for success that drives us into the ground. Yeah. And so what I discovered, first of all, I didn't have a roadmap to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, I had driven so hard, so committed to the mission, so committed to the cause, so committed to the businesses that I spent everything. I was deprived of the energy. I depleted everything that I had left. So I couldn't continue the success that we had. And once you're on the other side of momentum, mm -hmm. it's a scary place. Oh, you bet. Yeah. So what happened, and uh, this was seven, eight years ago, and I, I had to find solutions myself. I had to walk in the dark to navigate my way back to where I'm at now, to being back at the top of my game. So I've developed solutions on executive fatigue so that you can get what you want without putting at risk what you love. Yeah. And so now I have a, a four-step process that helps people identify it's a simple process that addresses the complexities of executive leadership, of business ownership. Sure. And so uh, through this process, you begin to learn new strategies that now can perpetuate the energy that you need to sustain and even create greater success. And, and one key aspect of this yeah. is helping people redefine success. Because if success is your measure, right? Because right. we all want to be successful, but yeah. what the heck does that mean, Drew, yeah. right? I mean, today it means one thing, tomorrow it means another. Sure. It's this moving target. So and, and it's different for different people. Of course it yeah. is. Yeah. So, but if we could change the definition, mm -hmm. we can still achieve great results in business, new metrics, uh, new dollar amounts, new initiatives, new right. products, new services, new clientele, whatever it is. If we can change, though, the real definition that's driving us yeah. Yeah. To, from success to significance, Okay. Now we become, instead of success-driven individuals, we become significance-driven individuals. Success is elusive. It's always this moving target. Right? right. It's hard to zero in on it. Right. Significance, though, is a state of being. Yeah. So we can lead from a place where we have abundance. Yeah. Or while we still are under demand, we have lots of requirements, responsibilities. Now we can sustain that pace and we can conquer the objectives that we're trying to you know, uh, meet. Yeah. But more importantly we create the life we've always wanted. Yeah, yeah. So from the bottom of my, my game, right, yeah. the end of my rope, now to the top of my game, I did not know life could be this good. I've been an executive leader for 30 years. Okay. I, I've launched four different organizations, right? I did not know life could be this good. good. Yeah. yeah. You, you know what you said, being the bottom of your game or whatever? I love somebody in the C-suite in the Thought Summit earlier yeah. said, at the bottom of the hole yeah. was a trampoline. Oh, nice. And, and that's what you yeah. did. Well, that's right? resilience, right? Yeah. I mean, so that's, that's that rebound ability. That's the resilient qualities that you have to have. Yeah. But, but this condition that I've identified with executive fatigue, it, it's, it's, you, the, the statistics are, first of all, crazy. Yeah. Just down the street from where we are right now, Wall Street Journal. Yeah. They identified that 96% of leaders, 96% of leaders have, are, are battling mild to moderate fatigue. Oh, yeah. Okay? You bet. So that's affecting them. It's affecting them personally. Yeah. But here's the one most staggering. 33% of executives, one out of three executives are at a place of extreme fatigue. Really? Extreme fatigue wow. is where there's catastrophic, devastating causes and effects yeah. that have to be addressed. Yeah. And, and that's what my mission is now, is to change the world of executive leaders by giving them solutions to keep them driving for success without driving themselves into the ground. That is awesome. You know, folks don't really realize, and you've done it and I have as well, built, you know, rel I've built huge organizations, but re built relatively large organizations. Yeah. And everyone thinks that the guy at the top has it made. Oh, sure. And the reality is, I mean, especially when you have the responsibility of all these folks and you have people relying on you, and I'm talking about from your employees to your customers to your suppliers and yeah. everything else. I mean, it is, it's a responsibility that most people cannot even fathom. They don't. And, yeah. and they do look at the C-suite or the corner suite or mm -hmm. the owner suite as something completely different. And what they misunderstand is the demand yeah. and the weight. Yeah. And that's why we wear out. Yeah. That's why we wear thin. That's why we wear down. Yeah. Because that weight is always on you. And depending on the size of your workforce or the, the, si the size of your revenue or the size of your reach or the size of your clientele, it's just more weight and more weight and more weight. And yeah. that's why this is something we have to address yeah. is to change the game because there is a better way 
to create bigger results. Yeah, right? yeah. A you better bet. way to yeah. create bigger results. Yeah, yeah. So. At the top of your game. Okay, so listen. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about C suites. Yes. Because I'll be saying you're a hero member. I am a hero club member, yeah. And, and I'm not yet, but we're, I'm joining. You've got okay. to. Yeah. Best so, thing. Best so, thing on the planet. So talk to, you know, because I've, I've been part of mastermind groups yeah. and, you know, everything else you can imagine. The value proposition in this, what Jeffrey Hazlett and his organization has done, mm -hmm. is probably, especially, you know, probably not if you're a Mexican restaurant or something like that. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying, when, when your business relies on being networking with other people yeah. and everything else, I have never seen such a robust package and everything else yeah. that they do really yeah. for an incredibly affordable price to get well, all this stuff. Well, here's everything. And, and you've heard this statement. I'm sure those watching right now, you've heard that statement where your network is your net worth. You bet. So this is a tribe if you are an owner, if yeah. you are a found, founder, if you are a senior leader, senior level management, C-suite individual, this is the tribe you you've got to become a part of. It's yeah. becoming recognized as the world organization for executive leaders. And so you've got to become a part of this yeah. tribe and then understand the value and the benefit behind what that looks like. But I've also taken it to the next level. I'm a Hero Club member. Yeah. And Hero Club is not meant to be an elite group in right. the sense of we're bigger and better than anybody. That's not at all what that means. In fact, it's, it's kind of the opposite. What it simply means is that it's a group of CEOs that have decided to live for significance. Yeah, yeah. Right? Who have decided to make their impact on this world by leaving their fingerprints of influence, of compassion, of generosity, of quality leadership that changes the game in their organizations, changes the game in their communities, and then ultimately changes the world. Yeah. Right? So the Hero Club thing, I'm telling you. Oh, it's awesome. I'm, is, I'm in. You better yeah. get in. Oh, I am. Dude, I am. Gotta, you you got to be in. I, I, I you heard him say it. I will. You heard I, him say I'm it. I'm in. All right. Yeah. Okay, so one other thing I have to say. Listen, Jeff didn't ask us to say this. None yeah. of his team did. And it's one of those things we don't get paid to do this. Of course right? Not. But here's the bottom line. If you found the best place you've ever eaten, or if you found the fanciest hotel that took yeah. care of you with your customer service, it was incredible. Wouldn't you tell all your friends? Heck yeah, I do. Yeah, we're telling our friends. That's it. Thank all you right. so much. Okay, Where can people find you? You can find me at JeromeWade.com, and you can find me at any social media uh, uh, platform at Jerome Wade. So okay. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Come on our show again in the future. I'd love to. Okay. Man. Thanks. All right. Appreciate Thank it, you. man. You Thank you. All you right. Bet.